and welcome back. We're headed to Chris Narfan. They we're probably one of the top rated luxury restaurants in all of Nepal. This is it right here. Thank you so much. Yeah, you. We got a reservation for 6.30 and I booked a light 16 course dinner. Namaste. My name is Max. <laughs> so I, I have a booking. Yes. Yes. Hello. Just one person now. Four Max? Room, room oh, 404. Yes, yes, yes. Can I first, yeah? Okay, perfect. Right here. Even better because I don't have shoes. Wash your hands Okay, so you wash hands here. That's nice and warm. And then towel here. So here's a Thank towel. You so much. This is pretty uh -huh. cool. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Towel down here? Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. I follow you. Oh, I've had many famous people. Yes, Prince sir. of Wales, Jimmy yeah. Carter. Oh, very nice. Uh -huh. okay, sir. This for me? Yeah, it'd be perfect. I'll just sit right here. Thank so you so much. Oh, you gotta really get in here. Whoa. I think I can get in. I'm not, I'm not flexible, am I? Okay, there we go. Okay, a little bit forward. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And, uh, I am heavy. <laughs> I haven't even eaten. <laughs> sure. I'll be normal. Is that a lot? <laughs> I feel this like it's a lot. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. So you make these for each person? <laughs> yes. It's oh, my gosh. Okay, I will try my best. Okay, thank you, sir. You know, when I booked 16 courses, I was like, oh, it's a good idea. And now I'm kind of scared. I don't know, I've had lots of Gorka and Tubor. Should I try the Everest? Sure, sir. I'll try, I've never had it. Everest. So yeah. we'll try it. Okay. I'll start and with the Everest. Water also, sir? And just water, it's yeah. Still water. still water would be great. Thank, thank you. you. This is our dinner, sir. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. Thank you. <gasps> is that like traditional? Traditional. <laughs> well, I know, but I'm at the shape. <laughs> Thank you. This is your process starter. This is called Samai Bazi. This is now one food and cup underwear. Okay. He has a bit of rice, some garlic, beans, swipings, also beans. This is a mini powder. Mm -hmm. This is lentil powder, chicken milk, potato, because of garlic. This is a bara. Okay. Is it bara? Bara, yes. Okay, this one's bara. Yes. Aloo, okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Before we start, so put a little bit often to your glass, sir. Tell okay. me a little bit for the first portion. Okay, so just go up, try a little bit? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Here, often. Uh, oh, first offer, so you offer a little bit and yes. then you. Okay, perfect. So, do your portion. Thank you so much. Okay, so we give an offering right here in front of us. This is really cool. I like this. It like, ties the culture and the religion into it as well. I'm a little worried because she said this is first course. I'm gonna create an offering, just like everything. This is our drinks with the rice wine. Oh, this is the rice wine. Yeah, this is the strong one. Wow, I didn't know that was included too. Okay, it's gonna be a good night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's build a little offering. I think it's a beautiful offering. We got the offering ready to go. I still first course. I did not realize. There's no way. This is only one. This is like gonna be so good. I didn't get to go to Kutipur, which had all the new water cuisine. So I'm excited to get some new water cuisine. Mm. This is so good. I've just never had Nepalese food. High end. Look this fish, there's like no meat on it. It's just all the crispy bits. Mm. So, let's follow it up. Some of the local liquor. She didn't tell me this was included before I ordered a beer.
you know, beans, potatoes, flattened, flattened rice. You wouldn't think it would be anything special, but the rice here has been flattened. It's almost like a rice puff, you know, it's got that crunchiness to it. Mm. So then you, you're just adding that crunch factor with all the spicy, creamy, umami packed potatoes and lentils and beans. It's really just best when you get it all here mixed together. Mm. Hello. Hello, Namaste. 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 That was good. Okay. I was, I was familiar with it because I've been to Niwari restaurant before. It was really nice. Yes. Thank yeah. you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, of course. Uh, it goes here. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's a side clip. Okay. I've learned. I've learned now. <laughs> Hello. We have a second course, sir. And here in the second course, we have a black rice bread. This okay. is a deep fried flour bread. Okay. Here on the side, we have a minced chicken meat with some green peas. This is a mushrooms. And here on the side, it's a chickpeas curry. Ah, uh, nice. So is this like chola and the pudding? Yeah, chola and bhatura. Like okay. It's from the the Rai region of Nepal. Okay. So um, it's uh, close to the border of the India. So the Indian food uh, more to the yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's more Indian style. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Oh, each course has like ten things. <laughs> Look at this. I did not expect this. Look at this. There's so much food for a second course. Usually, when you're like one course, it's like bite. So when I was like, oh, we'll do 16, <laughs> be like, bite. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be hard. I think I'm most excited for the black potty though. Look, is it? Black potty. It's hot. Mm. Oh, I think they almost color a beetroot because it's more like a purple. It's just dark in here. Let's go for like this mushroom, creamy one. It's almost like a stroganoff or just some creamy lasagna pasta with an oyster, mushroom, meaty, flavorful, umami. God, that's delicious with this crunchy body. Mm, huge chickpeas in here. The minced chicken's okay for me. The one that blew my mind was this mushroom one. I wasn't expecting anything like that. Mm. Oh no, I should just read. That was black rice for the porty. Sorry, not coloring it. Here comes the third course. Okay. Here in the third course, we have a river fish with some black lentils and rice juice. Okay, what type of fish is it? It's a river fish. We don't have sea. Does it have a name yeah, or anything? Yeah, that's why we have a river fish and it's boneless. Okay, in Nepalese is called. Matcha. Matcha. We call matcha it matcha. Toreco. Yes. <laughs> okay, matcha toreco. Perfect. So just like a river fish over like this like risotto. So it's gonna be rice, mushroom, cooking yes. that. It was nice and creamy. I've actually gotta use these this time. I always wanna go in my hands. Tastes better. And I don't know how to use these. <laughs> Looks like there's almost like a lentil or something in the risotto as well. Ooh. It kind of tastes like a river fish. It tastes like it's been down there towards the mud a little bit, which I'm okay with. We have a fish in Vietnam that's very similar. Or if you like catfish, I guess. If you like catfish. But this doesn't flake like catfish. It kind of mushes together. Not that meaty. And the risotto is very nice. Almost like a more of a lentil flavor than a mushroom. Mm. Honestly, something I've realized. You need to wish me luck. This is only course three. Everybody in here, I've heard everybody, they're doing six courses. I'm doing 16. Oh man. <laughs> My cup's an elephant. 
We have a long way to go. Yes, very long way to go. You know, <laughs> it's when, only the third course. You know, when I booked it, I was like, good idea. And then I got here, I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's more fun. Yeah. We have up to 22 courses also. Who does 22 here? Do people do 22? Yes, yes, people do. I come some back. Of the people leave some of the starters, some of them leave the main course, but most of them finish it all. Okay, challenge accepted. I should have gone for 22, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. Next course here we have a stuffed bottle board. Okay. Bottle board is a vegetable, the long green one. Okay. And we stuff inside with some cottage cheese, uh, potato mousse, carrots and carrot. And on the side there is a mango pickle which is sweet. Oh, okay. This is kind of like your type of a jar? Yes. Okay. You, you have to eat this with this. Okay. Sauce. Put the jar on top. Can yes. do. <laughs> So I guess they made like a vegetable mousse to like make it softer, but it's cottage cheese and type inside a bottle gourd and a mango like type of a charter kinda. Look at this. My thing is like this is crazy. Uh, so I'm just gonna because you have to eat them together. I think you just gotta do it like this, like a little PB and J action. Now this is like the serving size I would suspect you would get 16 courses. Oh, it's kind of just like falling apart. That cottage cheese. It's being held in by the mousse. I love that. Just put it in. Genius. Genius. Course. Mm. The real nice thing about being a <coughs> single diner is that all these couples have their like legs crossed and they're in such a small pace and I'm just like stretched out and care. Just me. This course we have a grilled duck meat. Grilled dark meat? Duck. Oh, duck, 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 duck yeah. sorry. <laughs> what? Duck. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Donald Duck. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. I didn't know you really ate duck in Nepal, so I'm kind of shook right here. This doesn't even look like duck meat, really. <laughs> I guess they've like ground it and made it into like a meatball. No, it's not been ground at all. It's just got like strips in it like it's the meat. Oh. Yes. Go. A little dry for me. Yeah, it's okay. It's a lot of meat though for the course. I'm just curious, where do y'all eat duck meat in Nepal? Sorry? Like, where is duck meat common in Nepal? I have not seen duck meat in my travels. It's common in the Niwari community. Niwari, really? Yes. Okay. But others also uh, eat duck meat, but it's more in the Niwari community. It's very popular. We have a dish called choila. Uh, oh, choila is duck? Yes. Choila, they made a very nice choila uh, of a duck meat. I've only had buff meat with choila. Okay. Yes, buffalo also very popular, uh -huh. but rather than buffalo, uh, after that, the, the dark choila is very popular. It's very popular. Yes. Okay, good. I'm just, I just like to learn while I'm eating. So yes. thank you so much. Yes. Ah. So here it is. This is the Bada mint chutney right here in the middle. Oh, that stuff is killing me. I'm just going to give it a little dip dip. Check that out. I think this is where it's going to be at. A little mint chutney with a lentil pancake. What I, what I love about this restaurant so far is the atmosphere has essence of not only tradition but little things you get in local restaurants like this right here like the water jugs that you would share with everybody you get these dishes that are traditional they're teaching you about Nepalese food they're up playing them a little bit but it's not so much that they lose their identity and they're just teaching about Nepalese cuisine this is a bara with a mint chutney Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. We have a fried prawns. Okay. Uh, normally, prawns is not very popular in Nepal, but mm -hmm. uh, here we add our flavors. Like okay. We uh, use Nepali spices and we make the Nepali prawns here. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. They have these little teeny tiny prawns here, don't they? <laughs> Somebody's got the knife skills in the back too. Because look at that, that is a grape. That is a flower. That is a grape. I think for me, like this would probably be nice. I like the cashew, I like the tomato. Again, kind of like a chutney. Oof. This vegetable dish though, these vegetable dishes have been going off. 
Maybe on another level. Look at this. Now, don't take this the wrong way. It tastes like a next level veggies lover pizza. Just without the crust, without the bread. The bell pepper is the main thing. It's been roasted down. It's got a little bit of that sweetness, but me, it's just a veggies lover's pizza with no crust. Mm. Another one. Okay. Perfect. Quail and Nepalese yeah. spices? Uh, yeah, Nepalese spices. Okay, sounds good. Is it okay to go in hands? I think it is. <laughs> I've had quail in ages. Still smoking hot though. Oh my gosh. Mm. I mean, I'll be real with you, and I don't mean this in a mean way, but to me, like, the vegetarian dishes are, like, on another level compared to the meat dishes. So far. This is the next course, sir. Okay. We have a buckwheat pancake. Okay. And it's from the Himalayan region of Nepal. Okay. Because we grow the buckwheat in the Himalayan region. Okay. And uh, on the top of the buckwheat, we have some spinach, and there's some uh, tomato sauce from okay. the side. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. So something kind of cooking from the Himalayas here. We got the... Buckwheat pancakes, spinach, everything you heard, or I don't know why I'm talking. I'm just gonna kind of scrape over each side. Make me a little taco. Taco. Maybe like a Nepalese taco, right? The buckwheat, it's nutty. The way they cook them is spinach toast sweet. Add a lot of salt to it. Then come that little tomato relish in there as well. Mm. It's a very, very hearty dish. You, you can feel the, the nutrition from it. I feel like I'm ready to go hike the Himalayas after eating this. Okay, we have the next course, sir. Yes. In this course, we have a fried lamb okay. with some popped rice on the side. Okay. In the, in the first course, you have the bitten rice. Mm -hmm. It's the same one, but that is the bitten. No beating. It's only the popped. Okay. I held back my dad joke. I want to say, oh, it's the good rice. It's not the naughty rice because it didn't get beaten. Okay, I'm done. The thing is, mainly the times you're in the streets and you eat meat in Nepal, they do like a little drier texture. So all the meat in the restaurant has been to a very dry texture. To me, again, the lamb, it's very dry and it's got kind of like the same spice mixture as before. It's almost killing my palate. It's almost too much of the same spice mixture. That piece of lamb is pretty darn good. It had a lot of fat on it. And who's ever on the knife in the in the kitchen? I literally want them to be my teacher. They made a flour. I didn't even notice earlier, but look, they cut off the little bits here. Made it look like the, the, the leaves opening up. I'm distracted by the, the food. Like the, the lamb's actually tender. The first piece I had was dry. But ever since that, this has been tender, fall apart. Each little bite has been, even every little nook and cranny of that lamb has been massaged and covered and coated in spices. Mm. Here we have uh, chatamari, we call it chatamari. Oh, chatamari. Yes, chatamari. Okay. <laughs> Bara chatamari, it's a newari dish, and this bread is made of rice flour. Mm -hmm. Inside we have some minced chicken. Okay, perfect. Chatamari, this brings me back to the first time I ever came to Nepal, I had chatamari. This is chatamari here. And the inside's almost like they ground the chicken meat and uh, spiced it. Because look at that. Almost more, it's more like a ground chicken. I can see some scallion onion. Every time I've had chatamari, it's been like flat and it's thin. This is actually a little bit thicker than what I've had in a traditional setting. Maybe if I hold it like a taco. Mm. But you get a lot of scallion, a lot of onion, garlic. The chatamari, the actual rice pancake here, a little thicker. The edges are crispy, but unlike ones I've had in the Wari cuisine, where they're all really thin, really crispy, this one's got a doughiness to it, that rice flour. It stick to your ribs. They're so gooey, so doughy. 
Mm. It has an apple. Can you believe that's an apple? This is a, a heavy, heavy 11th or 12th course. We called it momos. Uh, no Joe Momo. Yeah. No Joe. It was, it was very popular in Nepal. Yeah. Wherever you go, you find the dumplings, you know. Oh, yeah. And here we have three different dumplings. Okay. White is the chicken, red is the pork, yellow is the fish, with some tomato sauce on the side. And here we have a little wooden fork to eat the momos. Man, it's crazy. It's not a Joe Momo, a no, no Buff Momo. It is different. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. Oh, interesting. This is gorgeous. Mm. I was kind of hoping they'd have some uh, sesame seed and some achar like sauce to pour on top, but they ain't Joel Momo. I think that'd be good though. We got that tomato sauce that I've seen in a few other dishes we've had. I gotta show y'all this one. So let me lower this down just a little bit. I know it's probably one biter, but I also know it's probably steam and hot. I'm gonna go ahead and just ration out the, the sauce. I'm so scared. I know it's gonna be hot. Mm. This is very similar to the ones I ate earlier today. The dough on this is a little bit thicker. When you look at the pleats, it's about 12 or 13 pleats. It's not like the small little ball momos, but instead it's, it's thick, it's meaty. They've been colored, probably naturally as well, probably using beetroot or something to color this. That first one was hot. I know this one will be too. Oh. The momos may be the best thing here. The tomato sauce right here complements the momo beautifully. The silky dumpling, a little bit doughy but they're big enough, there's just a burst of flavor on the inside from the filling. Each one a little bit different. The fish one, a little lighter in flavor, the chicken, and the other one being a little bit heavier. Mm. It says mixed vegetables, so I don't know like, if the whole thing here is lotus or what. That is a lot of soup. Man course All right, <laughs> main course. All the other courses were appetizers. Oh my gosh, here they come. That's so much food. Yeah. Okay. This is a plum, bitter gourd, and fenugreek. Oh, I got the fenugreek as well. Interesting. I've never had the fenugreek pickled before. We are serving the main course, sir. Right. Here we have a three different rice. This one is a brown rice. Yeah, it might rise. I love how it's like, hope it's not too big. Three rices already. Here we have black lentils. We have two different lentils. This is a black. Is this just a lentil dish or is this actually like dal? So like for dal bot? It's a dal bot, yes. Okay, perfect. Oh, that's interesting. It, like, I've seen these black lentils before, which is my favorite, but I've never seen it that black. Can I Can I oh, some spinach. Put the spinach here. Oh, <laughs> the kind of circular around. This is a spinach? Right. I didn't hear what this one was. What was this? That's uh, yellow lentils. Yellow lentils. Two lentils. lentils. One is black and the other is yellow. Okay. Here we have the chicken curry, sir. Okay, perfect. Lambot and sherry. Oh, yes. What? No, that's okay. <laughs> I just really like it. This is okra and potato. Okay, okra and potato. We have a fried buffalo meat. Sir. Okay, fried buff. Please enjoy your main course. Okay. The main course is a 16 course meal. A little bit of spinach. Mm. 
dessa wow the black dog they're very salty and ghee heavy you almost don't keep much of the dog because it's so much ghee so much salt let's try the yellow dog with the white rice i'm not much of a brown rice guy it kind of just tastes like i'm eating oatmeal which i just don't want right now get some of that veg curry with it yeah i love the lightness of the yellow doll the veg curry over the white rice i'm a white rice guy you know what i mean you don't need to fry you don't need to do anything else to it it's perfect how it is now we got all the pickled stuff this should be the fenugreek right here wow <sighs> Oh, that's bitter. And then there was dessert. Which now I'm hungry again. Finally, here comes the dessert. <laughs> Finally. <sir. laughs> yes. And here in the dessert, we have a yogurt sweetened mm -hmm. with honey and flavored with cinnamon. Okay. In the middle, there's some bottled gourd pudding. And on the bowl, we have a sago plum pudding. And here on the side, there's some fresh fruits. Perfect. Thank you so and, much. Uh, would you like to have some tea or coffee, sir? Can I do some tea? Tea. We have a masala tea, chamomile tea, green tea, black tea. Masala tea would be beautiful. Masala tea. Yes. Okay. Uh, you want to have it with the dessert or after you finish the tea? You can bring it now and it will cool down while I'm sure. eating. So I was kind of curious what they would do for dessert because I don't. I'm trying to think. I don't think I've seen many just like Nepalese desserts when I'm in Nepal. So yogurt sweet with honey this is the bottle gourd which we ate before they turned it into like a almost like a like a helva even though i know it's not and a sago pumpkin pudding to me like the sweetest thing i've eaten in nepal has been for breakfast with the cell roti and the and the masala tea and the other little bits you get to eat mm. Ooh. that's hot all the cashews crunched up in here but then that, that bottle gourd, it eats, mm. it's a very milky dessert. They use in the bottle gourd, it's not quite like halwa because it doesn't have that, that, that texture and that nuttiness. What is it like? It's kind of like an Indian sweet where the milk proteins just kind of dissolve in your mouth. It's a softness, it's light, it's airy. Mm. This dessert. This is like one of the best desserts I've had ever. Like the yogurt, the tanginess, the sweetness, the, the like triple texture going on. I guess at least let me give some love to the sago and pumpkin. It is so creamy. It's like, I want to put say like the inside of a, a pumpkin pie, but that's not quite right. It doesn't have that kick of cinnamon. And of course you got these little bursts of pearls with the sago. For me, that fruit is just like another one of those cut pieces. I'm just gonna look at it. Mm. That was really fun. I didn't know Nepal had anything like this so I booked here and I read about this place. So I was excited to get in here and just try all scopes of the cuisine from street food, the home food, to like high, higher dining. That's me, see, Chuck. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. I turned everything off. I thought we were done. We not done. <laughs> Anyways, I will drink this tea and I will meet you outside. We're done. Thank you. I never got your name. What was your name? My name is Yuma. Lumas. Yuma. Yuma, right Yuma, Yuma. Nice to meet you, Yuma. Thank, Thank you for the night. I hope you enjoyed everything. I sure did. Thank you so much for explaining everything and the hospitality and everything. Uh, and delicious you. food. Thank you. And uh, we hope to see you again with okay. the 22 course. Okay, <laughs> I'll try. I will come hungrier. <laughs> okay, and here's a souvenir, sir. Oh, thank it's you a terracotta so much. brick, a sign of good luck. Okay, thank you so much. It's amazing. You. Thank, thank you all. Have, have a good night. night. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.
Wow. That was insane. 16 courses, it was like barely over $100. Actually, the the 16 courses are under $100. It's at like 13% VAT plus a 10% tax that put it over it. But it is gorgeous. It is hospitality. It is so much fun. The only problem, the only thing that made me sad is like there's no Nepalese people there. So I think next time back in Nepal, before I come here, I'm going to make an announcement. And I want to bring a subscriber here. And we'll do the 22 course together. So I hope you all enjoyed. This is Max. I'll catch you at the next one. Which I think there's only one left after this video. So see you there. Stay.